I'm Larry Anglesano at Aviation Consumer. You know, in avionics life, 13 years is a long time. That's about how long Garmin's G1000 has been at the top of the glass cockpit market. Now, during that time, not only has the G1000 become the original equipment standard in a wide variety of airframes, it's found huge success in the King Air retrofit market, which is just where the latest G1000, called the G1000 NXI, makes its debut. Now, Garmin has made plenty of incremental upgrades to the G1000 over the years, but the NXI is the most substantial to date. Before we go flying with the NXI and Garmin's King Air, Jessica Koss from Garmin is going to tell us a little bit about the it. The G1000 NXI integrated flight deck is Garmin's next generation G1000 integrated flight deck, which preserves the same footprint within the King Air series, but incorporates modern processors that support faster map rendering across the MFD, as well as smoother panning across the map. The display is also initialized within seconds, so pilots have access to flight plan data and frequencies almost immediately. We've also improved the new controller unit, which incorporates a new joystick that allows users to pan more easily throughout the MFD in a 360 degree motion. Now, if you guess the G1000 NXI doesn't have a touchscreen interface like the G3000, you'd be right. Now, Garmin said it was sensitive to market price tolerance when it reworked the G1000 and simply left it out. Now, in a survey we conducted on avweb.com, nearly half of the 450 respondents said they could live without a touch interface on new avionics if the rest of the user interface was solid. Pilots will realize a very intuitive and familiar user interface as G1000 NXI retains that similar UI to G1000 today. LED backlighting contributes to increased display clarity and brightness. Fonts are also larger and brighter. Some of the new features that we've incorporated into G1000 NXI include connectivity options with FlightStream 510, which supports the wireless aviation database transfer between compatible mobile devices operating Garmin Pilot and the G1000 NXI displays. So uh, we're powered up here in the King Air, uh, Bradley International taxiing out for departure. I'm here with Garmin, Scott Fry. Scott, right off the bat, we see uh, Surface Watch. Uh, what are we seeing here? Yeah, Surface Watch is a new enablement that we're offering on the new King Air G1000 NXI. And what it does, it gives you a series of visual and audible alerts. If you notice here on your PFD, there you see that uh, it says we're on taxiway Tango and we're taxiway over approaching taxiway November, Lima. Bradley Tower. Uh, also, if you'll November, notice here on the on the multifunction display, you'll see the the runway that we're taking off. We've entered into our flight plan outline in blue, and that shows you that you're on the correct runway. So it gives you a lot more situational awareness, a lot more safety features when you're taxiing around on the airport, particularly not from air airport. That's got a major feature in the uh, new NXI is this HSI map. Can you explain that? Yeah, it gives uh, pilots and customers the, the option to go from the traditional HSI over to the HSI map, which is basically an inside pictorial of what you see on the big moving uh, on the multifunction display. So I can go down here to map option, and uh, you know I can select the layout I want with the soft key. So I can put traffic overlay, which I have. Uh, I have it on topo right now. I can also go to a relative terrain. Uh, when you get down close to the ground or in mountainous areas, we have three color shading down on the G1000 NXI. We have green, uh, yellow, and red instead of just yellow and red, which is a nice feature. It has a better contouring, better shading. I can also do next red overlay. We don't have any weather out there today, but uh, I could put my next red radar, uh, next red weather, uh, directly on my primary field of vision on the uh, on the HSI map. I can also put METARs. I can put lightning data on there. Okay. And then also a nice new feature that, that a lot of people have been asking for is we can do the weather radar overlay. So you can have the weather radar overlay over the inset map of the HSI map. So it's right there in your primary field of vision. So a lot of nice features available on the new HSI map. If, uh, if, but if, you, uh, if you choose to, uh, you can still use the, uh, the traditional HSI map, uh, HSI that, uh, that most people have been flying with or used to flying with. So we give a couple options there to our customers to really uh, let them choose how they want to fly the airplane. One thing I've noticed is the faster processor, we've got much quicker map redraw speeds, um, which is a huge improvement over the old G1000, I think. Uh, now with the G1000 NXI, we've vastly improved the processing speed of these displays. We've gone to a dual core processor. So you can see as we paint on the map here, it's much faster, much more responsive. Uh, than what we've had before. Likewise, if you zoom out or zoom in on the map, it's very responsive and can get you to the range you're looking for very quickly. 
Out the G1000 NXI, Larry, we also have uh, approach charts here that you can display on the 15-inch MFD. Uh, customers have the choice of doing uh, the, the Garmin flight charts, or you can use the Jepson charts with the uh, with the chart view uh, enablement that uh, that is available. So uh, you can make them bigger, make them smaller. Uh, you can move around on the screen left and right. Uh, you can also go down here to chart options and uh, and, and do fit with or full screen. Uh, so you can see the viewing angle that you're uh, you're actually looking for. That's with the older G1000. This has got the integrated GFC 700, and uh, it, it also has a coupled go-around feature. Yeah, correct, Larry. We got uh, we got what we call electronic sp stability protection, which also provides uh, a couple go-around capabilities with underspeed protection. So when you come in to land or you get down to minimums, then you have to go around. When you hit the go-around button, the autopilot will stay engaged, and it'll bring the command bars up to the 8 to 10 degrees angle. Autopilot stays engaged. It's just a matter of you adding the power and clean up the airplane. Okay, so we're on a couple to RNAV uh, approach the runway 24 here in Manchester, New Hampshire. Going to demonstrate a coupled go around. What can we expect? Hello, we're coming in here on the uh, RNAV 24. Uh, the approach is uh, coupled. Uh, we've got our, our course line centered here, glide slope. Uh, we're coming on down. So uh, as we get down close to minimums, our minimums are 880 feet. As we get close to minimums, uh, then I'm going to execute the, uh, the go around by basically hitting the go-around button and the autopilot will stay engaged, the aircraft will pitch up, I'll add the power up to climb power and I'll get the uh, gear up and then the flaps up and then we can go to the, uh, miss the hole. Minimums, minimums. Okay, hit the go-around button, autopilot stays engaged, port comes up. B percent torque. Gear's coming up. Lights are coming off. And past 125, flaps are coming up. Here, let's take a look at the hole. You can see there are holes depicted and how we're going to go to the hole and basically we're going to do a teardrop entry and come back around. G1000 will do it all. I'm done. Once I once I hit the go around and I get the airplane 60, cleaned up and I hit the nav on the autopilot, I'm done. Uh, one of the things that customers have been requesting on the G1000 for quite some time is the ability to select a visual approach if they don't want to do an instrument approach and, and visual conditions. So you can go to the procedure key just like you would load a regular instrument approach, say select approach, and then uh, scroll down and uh, we're going to do the visual to runway uh, 24. So you can select 24 there and uh, you can say vectors are straight. We're straight on our final approach course inbound. I've got a good visual on the runway. My glide slope is coming down. Uh, and as soon as the glide slope captures, I'll get glide slope uh, enunciation, and then we'll get the gear down, the lights on, and uh, we'll just let the autopilot fly it down just like it would a regular uh, instrument approach. Existing King Air customers with the G1000 integrated flight deck can seamlessly upgrade to G1000 NXI by simply swapping out the displays and incorporating a new controller unit. G1000 NXI will be retrofittable in the King Air 200, the 300, and the 350 series. We expect aircraft OEMs to adopt G1000 NXI and new aircraft. And you can read a full report of the G1000 NXI in an upcoming issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Anglosano. Thanks to Scott Fry at Garmin. Thank you, Larry. Appreciate you flying with us today.